wonderful things that we read in God's word is is the need for God's people to know the times in which they are living. As we read in the Old Testament, the children of Ishakar, they knew the times and therefore they knew what they ought to do. It's so important for us to know the times and what we ought to do and also to know what God desires over His people. Now, Kalata Grihikino Rayikino, E. Sametha Namenda Chain, Chayendo, Chayana Menodeum. So I want to draw our attention to uh, the need for us to be uh, conscious of the times in which we are. And uh, that's very important for us to uh, come into knowing the mind of God concerning the times. For that we need to know the times. Sovereign way led me to the book of Nehemiah. And I would request you to turn with me to the book of Nehemiah for a moment, for some time perhaps. We, when we read the book of Nehemiah, uh, one thing the Lord uh, laid on my heart during those times of seeking the Lord uh, is about this man's sensitivity to the times in which he was. You know that sensitivity he had towards the Lord and His testimony uh, in those times. Yes. And so I wish to st start here as introduction of something. We are not looking for a study from the book of Nehemiah at all. But just a few thoughts as introductory, preparatory, uh, you know, for these coming sessions. Uh, when we turn to Nehemiah chapter 1 and, and verse... Uh, Verse 2 onwards, perhaps, to save time. And Hanani, one of my brethren, came, he and certain men of Judah. And I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. <laughs> And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. Then 
The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. <laughs> So here we find a man when he came to know the condition of God's testimony and God's people. There's something that happened to this man. It says, I sat down and wept and mourned. Wept and mourned. And then he moved on to fast and seek the Lord. Yes. Sat down and wept. <laughs> then he began to fast and he began to pray. <laughs> Here we find a man whose heart was drawn to God's need at that critical time when the testimony of God was in question. And I feel in my spirit that the times of Nehemiah is similar to our times in which we are. There are over these many years, God has stirred my heart, strengthened my heart, and even secured my heart to stand against many, many uh, reproaches and opposition in and through the life of Nehemiah. <laughs> And I thank God the way that God led me to this book during that time of fasting. And it lifted us all as a body in and through that short thought that the Lord placed before us. I'm not turning to those things this morning. But what I wish to place before us is the times of Nehemiah is similar to our times, the times in which we are. <laughs> there is something that the Lord has laid upon my heart afresh from this book and the life of this man. <coughs> and so I just want to share this uh, as introductory words to set and prepare us for that which uh, uh, ahead of us, that which we would meditate further. Now, when you see his life here and the book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah was not an official prophet. He was not an official prophet of his times. Nor was he an official king. 
nor was Nehemiah an official priest. Avan, oru purohidhanu ayirunnilla. He was only a man among men. Avan, deiva janangalda madhyathilulla oru sadharana manushan maatram ayirun. And that is heart touching. Adu nammude hrudayathe thodunnadaya oru kaaryamaanu. He was not an official prophet. Avan oru pravajagan ayirunnilla. nor was he an official king avan a raja vaayirunnilla nor an official priest avan or purohithanu vaayirunnilla he was only a man among the people avan deiva janangalda madhyathilulla oru sadharana manushan aayirunnu take that into your heart ningal hrudayathile aa karyathe ulkolluvan devan nammale sahayikkan and when we look into the times those critical times nehemiahude samayathe kuriche nam nokkumbol the official side of things was in much weakness devam uyarthirunnadaya paurohithyam adumallalla mattulla kaaryangalum ella balahinamaya oru nilayilayirunnu it has terribly failed aa kaaryangalalla parajayapetta oru samayamayirunnu whether it was the official prophets or the kings or the priests that which is official that which god had raised up they have failed and they are in great weakness they are yerthiyaya pravajanmaro rajakanmaro adu pole purohithanmaro onnum shaktamaya oru nilayil illatha oru samayamayirunnu adu aa karyangalalla parajayapetta oru samayamayirunnu adu king said all gone wrong one after another onnine parage vannai ella oru thettaya avasthayilekku poi and miserably failed in maintaining the testimony of god in the earth ഭർത്താവിന്റെ ശാശ്വത ഭൂമിയിൽ ഉയർത്തുന്ന കാര്യത്തിൽ അതെല്ലാം പരാജയ പരാജയപ്പെട്ടു ദ പ്രീസ്റ്റ്ഹുഡ് ഗോഡ് സോ കറപ്റ്റഡ് പൗരോഹിത്യം ഒരു പൗരോഹിത്യം ആ കറപ്ഷൻ അതപ്പതിച്ചു ഈവൻ Joshua the high priest as we read in the book of Zechariah was clothed in filthy garment nam zechariah in the pusthathil kaanum pole kaanum pol pradhana purohithanayirunna mahapurohithanayirunna zechariah ne oru malina vasthathodana nam kaanunnathu the prophets they had done their work in the midst of such terrible and difficult conditions and they were yet seeking to do it but was in much weakness the true prophets yathartha pravajanmare aa samayatha devathinandi karyangal cheyan shramikkunnundennu nerilum avaru oru balahinamayude avasthayilayirunnu there was so much that was coming upon them they were also found to be not so effective aa karya aa samayathile edirpulla bhayangaram aayirunnadanale avarkum shaktamaya onnum jeevan kazhinnilla and the, the false prophets were too many in number aa samayatha kalla pravajanmarude ennam valare adhigamayirun you know one thing saints when the word of god speaks about false prophets that's not talking about the prophets of baal deivajanathil kalla pravajanmaru parayun ennu parayumbodhe adu baalinte pravajanmare kurichunnu alla parayunnathu we have mentioned that in one of our books voice of the prophets we see that they were men who separated themselves to the lord and to god's work and gave themselves to be the prophets under the lord and were trained in the school of the prophets but somewhere on the way they got sidelined they got sidetracked they compromised and they got corrupted prophetic voice nu parana english pusthathile ee karyathe kurichu paranjittunde ee kalla pravajanmare avaru vannatte pravajaga sushrushikkayitte pravajanmarude keelil avare parisheelipikkapettavarum aa karyathinayitte avar verdirikkapettavarum aayirun but somewhere on the way ennale valiyile they got corrupted avar adapa they got side tracked they came under uh, pressures and got compromised na samarthangal ok vanna pole 
And that's how they became false prophets. So we see that everything that is official had failed and they were under great weakness. But here was a man and that really ministered to my heart. But here was a man who is who has none of these official designations. A man who is who has none of this officially. But just a man. But we see that when he heard about the testimony of Christ in the ruins, something happened in his heart. That's what we read here. God is not looking for great accomplishments, but a small gesture is enough in our lives for God to turn and lay hold of such lives. Yes. All that would need for God to be attracted and drawn to you and to me is not great accomplishments, but small gestures in our lives, even as Gideon did and even as Nehemiah did. Yes. What is gesture?